So testing seeds is a very important piece of uh, your profession, but also it's very difficult. So I'm curious as to uh, what your approach and how you actually test uh, your, your cultivars before releasing them into the public. Yeah, so uh, when you test stuff, you know, you have to, um, you know, you have to run some stuff out. I, uh, for the most part over the years, I've liked to have grown big full-size plants outside full term so you know what they do in the weather um, uh, a lot of people grow my stuff indoor but I'm known more as somebody who breeds for outdoor stuff um, like I said I I kind of really dug deep into breeding trying to do stuff for like the big medical garden so you want to have like the big plant and then you don't want the fall to hit and just have everything get ruined by a little bit of weather you know um, so over the years I've tried to tried to be able to run things out for a full outdoor season as big plants or even as smaller plants but to really see what they do um, and then over the past few years I've been you know with light depth being so much more popular I've been trying to see what things do in depth more because depth seems to be uh, the most stressful environment and then with indoor being in between so you know you want to have somebody grow stuff indoor you want to have people growing stuff depth growing them outdoor if i can i like to have people growing them further up north where the weather's really bad um maybe growing them where it's really hot and dry to see if they they if they get shock like that um so it's just it's just a matter of trying to find as many people to try things out in as many different environments so you can kind of figure out all right are these really good for everybody because you know i'm making stuff with with uh plants that are based on things i've had for a long time so a lot of times they just all do good for me so i want to have somebody else uh, run things out and, and, and grow them different ways. So like right now, I have a guy doing a lot of things in a, in a greenhouse with supplemental light. Uh, it's really a little harder to control the environment than it is in an indoor because of being in a greenhouse and he's way up north. It's really cold, he's doing them in the spring. Um, and he's trying them, he's like, I'm gonna put some in cocoa, put some in soil, uh, feed them all a little different, try different stuff, and then get the feedback from him, you know, as an example of like the kind of the kind of trials you want. And generally in um, plant breeding, you always wanna have those field trials with like people trying them here, trying them there, and then you get a good picture because of that, you know, um, you're familiar with like, a phenotype is a plant, but there's that change in phenotype from this place to that place to the other place. And so you're trying to get a picture of, of what that whole picture is, you know? So uh, just always trying to make sure that things are as proven as they can be. And then, you know, if you don't have, if, if you can't get them grown out, uh, as big plants in big gardens for the whole season, you at least want to know how do they grow out for somebody indoor or how do they grow out for somebody in a greenhouse. And then, you know, if I have, if I have stuff I know is really proven for outdoor, but it hasn't been tested for indoor, then um, I might put out a little bit of it and basically say it's untested or it's unproven. Even though I've seen it, I still haven't seen what it does everywhere. So really I wanna to know, to be able to say this is proven and this is good, I wanna be able to say, um, you know, it's been tested in all the different environments, so. So what's the baseline criteria that you would lay out that each strain needs to meet in order to, to release it? Um, I mean, it, it, it needs to fit the description of what it, of, of what it is, like, it just ha it has to be um, you know it has to be something that when you grow it you're you're glad you grew it really and knowing what what it, what it said it would do mm. you know um, and uh, that's you know that's the basics like we we touched on before it's like if I if somebody tells you it's a small yielder and you grow it and it's a small yielder great but if someone tells you it's a huge yielder and you grow it and it's a small yielder then you're going to be disappointed, you know? Mm -hmm. And 
you know, you, you can't guarantee what'll happen for people, but you at least have to know this is the trend across these plants. This is what they should do if they're, if everything is, if all, if all the plants are happy, they're gonna do this, mm. you know? Mm.